The first call today is for the one who doesn't know the Lord as your personal savior. You've heard the word and you realize I can't move forward because he's the one that is carrying me. I have to know him for him to carry me and move me forward. The Bible says in Revelation, Jesus says, behold, I stand at the door and I knock. He stands at the door and knocks. Jesus is not going to come into your heart. He's not going to take over your will. Knock the door down and come into your heart. You have to invite him. You have to ask him to come in because Jesus loves you that much. Amen. He loves you. He says, if you would just open the door to your heart, don't think about what tomorrow is going to look like. He says, if you will just open your heart and allow me to come in, I will sit with you and I will sup with you, which means he will commune with you and you will learn of his ways and he will make you anew and he will make you feel better. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Amen. If you would like to know the Lord today as your personal Savior, I'm going to ask you, if you will, raise your hand in his presence. If you're unsaved and you want to know the Lord today, just raise your hand in his presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see some hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, by faith, will you take a step and come to the front? I believe they have a ministry team that will pray with you. In the name of Jesus, will you step out from where you are and come today? Jesus sees your hands and heaven is rejoicing. The fact that you have recognized that you would like to know the Lord. Can we thank the Lord for those who have raised their hands? Now that you've raised your hands, I'm going to ask you to come today. If you will, just step out. Just step out by faith. Just step out. Just make that step today. If you make one step, God will make two. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to con you into coming to Christ. I just simply offer Christ yeah, to you today. If you will trust him, he will make you your life anew. Was that a hand of salvation earlier? It was. You Would you like to know the Lord as your personal Savior? Oh, you know the Lord. Amen. Was that a hand of salvation? You wanted to be saved? I saw some hands go up here. I believe we have time for this. Amen. We have time for salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we thank the Lord as they come? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Giving your life to Christ is the best decision that you can make in your life ever. Come on up. Come on up. Giving your life to Christ is the best decision that you can make ever. Come on. Can we thank the Lord for those who have come today? Heaven is rejoicing. Hallelujah. 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 Pastor, I don't know how it is done. Should I lead them in prayer? Do you have a team that works with them? Okay, thank you very much. The Bible says, the day that you hear my voice, if you will, just, if you will, I just, I want them to hear clearly. I don't want them to get caught up in the song. They need to know that they're making a clear decision. God said, the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. That means don't turn away from me. Because someone is not a believer today and they've heard the word and they decided not to come. But he says the day you hear my voice, the day that you feel or you hear me calling, when the word has become real to you, don't harden your heart but come today. So we thank the Lord for you. Again, choosing Christ is the best decision that you could make. So I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. And the Bible says if you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, you shall be saved. Amen. Let's pray. Dear Lord, come on, repeat after me if you will. Dear Lord, I've come to you today. I admit that I'm a sinner. I admit that I have done you wrong. I have erred in your ways. I ask that you would have grace on me, that you would have mercy on me now. I've come today because I want to be right with you. I want you to come into my heart I believe that Jesus Christ came, that he died for my sins. I believe, God, that you have raised Jesus from the dead. So forgive me for all that I've done wrong and come into my heart, Jesus. Come alive in me, Jesus. 
I proclaim that you are now my Lord. I proclaim that you are my Savior. And I will live for you. I denounce the works of the enemy. And I pronounce the works of God. In Jesus' name, amen. The Bible says if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that you are saved in Jesus' name. Can we thank the Lord today? They've got some information. So now what you have to do, I see you're members of the academy. I don't know where you're a member at, but now what you have to do is you have to find a church home and you have to stay in the home. And, the, and you have to stay, find a church home and stay in the church. That's increased Bible study, show up for chapel, all those kinds of things. And it doesn't mean that you're going to be perfect from this day forward. But what it means is you are now a sinner who got up and you're covered by the banner of grace. So as soon as you realize you've done something wrong, be quick to repent. Say, Lord, please forgive me. And if you've erred with someone, get to them and make it right. Amen? God is counting on you and he trusts you and God loves you. Amen? High five. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. You may return to your seats. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pastor Shiloh. Thank you so much. To God be the glory. Amen.